Hello everybody, my name is Lucy and today I'm going to read two books and these are books that um, two children out of my class have decided that I should read for you today so I'm going to read The Paper Dolls and Cave Baby so look and listen to Cave Baby Cave Baby is lucky, he lives inside a cave with his mum who's good at painting and his dad who's very brave and a sabre toothed tiger, a hyena and a hare and a grey woolly mammoth and a big brown bear. Cave Baby's lonely, nobody will play. Daddy is busy being brave mum says, keep away. Everything is boring, then suddenly it's not. For in a corner of the cave he found a brush and pot. Spots on the hyena, stripes on the hare, stars on the tiger, squiggles on the bear, zigzags on the mammoth. This is lots of fun. But mum and dad are furious and say look what he has done. Cave mum fetches water, she mutters and she wipes. No more spots and squiggles, no more stars and stripes. Cave Dad wags his finger. If you don't take care, a mammoth's going to throw you to the brig brown bear. Cave Baby's restless. He's feeling wide awake. A long grey trunk comes sneaking in, all wiggly like a snake. Where are you taking me? Where? Tell me where. Are you going to throw me to the big brown bear? Stripes in the forest, a tiger's lurking there. Don't throw me to the tiger or the big brown bear. Crashing in the bushes, a hare is leaping there. Maybe he's escaping from the big brown bear. A cackle in the bracken, a hyena is laughing there. Has he heard a joke about the big brown bear? A cave in the hillside, I wonder who lives there. I hope it's not, don't let it be the big brown bear. The cave is bright with moonlight, the walls are plain and bare, snoring in the shadows, someone's sleeping there. Cave baby's worried, he doesn't understand, until the woman mammoth pops a paintbrush in his hand. A five-legged tiger, a long curly hair, horns on a hyena, a beard on a bear, a moustache on a mammoth, this is lots of fun. Then the mammoth wakes his family and says, look what he has done. And they rollick and they frolic, they trumpet and they crash, they wade into the water, they roll and stomp and splash. They shake the baby by the hand, then lift their trunks and wave as the mammoth picks him up again and takes him to his cave. The cave baby's happy, he's fast asleep in bed. He dreams about a tiger with stripes of pink and red and grass, green hyena and a sky blue hair and a moon yellow mammoth and a small brown bear. Oh, that was a nice story. I like the pictures that they've done but I wouldn't advise you to draw on your walls. Maybe you want to do some cave paintings today but use paper because you will get in lots of trouble if you draw on the walls. Right, I'm going to read as well, Paper Dolls. These are both Julia Donaldson books again. There was once a girl who had tiger slippers and a ceiling with stars on it and a butterfly hair slide which she kept losing and two goldfish and a nice mother who helped her make some paper dolls. They were Ticky and Tacky and Jackie the Backy and Jim with two noses and Joe with the bow. And they danced and they jumped and they sang and they met a dinosaur who clawed and roared and said, I'm going to get you. But the paper dolls sang, you can't get us, oh no, 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 we're holding hands and we won't let go. We're Tiki and Tacky and Jackie the Backy and Jim with two noses and Joe with the bow and they jumped. Onto a bus and rode to a farmyard and danced with the pigs. 
Then they lay on a rooftop and stared at the stars till a tiger slunk out of his den. And he crouched and he snarled and he said, I'll leap up and catch you. But the paper dolls sang, you can't catch us. Oh, no, no, no. We're holding hands and we won't let go. We're Tiki and Tacky and Jackie the Backy and Jim with two noses and Joe with the boat. And they floated down the stairs and they danced around the honey pot and kicked crumbs and explored an island till a fierce crocodile grinned his grin and gnashed his teeth and said, I'm coming to crunch you. But the paper dolls laughed and sang, you can't crunch us. Oh, no, no, no. We're holding hands and we won't let go. We're Tiki and Tacky and Jackie the Backy and Jim with two noses and Joe with the bow. And they hopped into the garden and they sniffed the flowers and chatted to a ladybird and lay down in a forest of grass. But along came a boy with a pair of scissors and he said, I'll snip you. And he did. He snipped them into tiny pieces and he said, you're gone forever. But the paper dolls sang, we're not gone. Oh, no, no, no. We're holding hands and we won't let go. We're Tiki and Tacky and Jackie the Backy and Jim with two noses and Joe with the bow. And the pieces all joined together and the paper dolls flew. And the girl grew, who helped her own little girls make some paper dolls. Such a nice story, isn't it? So maybe today you might make some paper dolls. That's something I used to do when I was a little girl. So you might ask an adult to help you make some paper dolls of yourself and your friends or your family. So it's Friday today, so that's the last story time. Um, and I might do some more next week. Bye.